Hi, I'm Renee, National Educator for Hemp Lucid, and I'm here to talk to you today about the endocannabinoid system. Every human has an innate desire for balance. There are a number of activities such as yoga and meditation to help balance the body and the mind. We eat a balanced diet and we may even add specific vitamins or minerals for a better balanced health. But did you know that we actually have a specific system in our body that monitors and regulates our body's homeostasis or human balance? It's called the endocannabinoid system or ECS. It was only discovered in the early 1990s, yet it may be the largest system in our body. Back in the 1960s, Dr. Rafael Meshulam and his group of researchers became interested in the bioactivity of cannabis and eventually isolated many of its active compounds. Their curiosity and determination led them to not only understand cannabis and its constituents, but found that there is an entire system that interacts with cannabis that actually produces similar human-made compounds. This system isn't an isolated structural system that's easy to see, like the cardiovascular, digestive, or central nervous systems. Instead, the ECS consists of receptors that are widely distributed throughout the brain and the body. The two that are verified are called the CB1 and CB2 receptors. There are also specific particles called endocannabinoids, which are endogenous or human-made cannabinoids, which fit into these CB1 and CB2 receptors. The two most researched cannabinoids are called anandamide and arachidonoglycerol, which is a mouthful, so we call it 2-AG. These endocannabinoids act as retrograde or return neurotransmitters. The other important parts of this system are the enzymes that synthesize and degrade these endocannabinoids. These cannabinoids are believed to be synthesized on an as-need basis, meaning a certain stimulus presents itself in the brain or the body. The cannabinoids are then synthesized to help our body upregulate or downregulate the system in which it correlates. This internal adaptogenic system is constantly adjusting to keep an internal equilibrium. Just to give you an idea of how important this system is, the following is just a list of a few physiological functions the ECS is thought to regulate. Sleep and circadian rhythm, appetite, mood, temperature, pain signaling, stress response, digestion, reproduction, bone and skin health, and so much more. Stay tuned to find out more about this system and how we can better support it. This is Renee. Thanks for joining me here at Hemp Lucid University.